to reinforce the new concepts we uh, can look at a familiar but different uh, context in which uh, uh, we can see also uh, some uh, new concepts uh, that can be applied uh, if we go to the lab classes project which was analyzed in chapter 1 and open with the editor the class student uh, it can be seen that there are three fields name, ID and credits and they are initialized in the constructor the first two name and ID uh, are initialized to uh, the value of the parameters uh, passed to the constructor and then looking at the methods name and ID have accessor methods get name and get student ID and uh, oh yeah and there is also get credit so all of them have accessor methods uh, but only name and credits have mutator methods. The, so uh, there isn't a mutator method for ID. This means that uh, the value in the field ID, once initialized, is fixed. So it doesn't change. When a uh, field's value doesn't change, uh, it is said that it is immutable. Uh, this means that uh, for uh, the lifetime of the object, uh, in this case student, uh, it always uh, has uh, the same state so basically uh, all, all name, ID and credits belong to the uh, student's state uh, but ID uh, is immutable, it can change uh, its value Uh, then also um, the whole uh, class can be mutable and an example with the whole class mm. Was it the whole class that can be used? No, it was a string. It's a string that is immutable for the class. So... Hmm. I don't remember this part. Uh, it's kind of confusing. I have to look at it. So.
Okay, the complete state of an object can be immutable. So it's not, it's not a class. The string class is an important example of this. Oh, okay. So the string class. Yes, we can say that, yes, the state of a string is immutable.